And uh, today um, we are in um, the IMAX theater, obviously. Um, normally um, we are in um, the Rickinson Auditorium, which is a smaller uh, venue, but um, you know, you'll get to enjoy the largest PowerPoint in Denver um, for our presentation tonight. So um, let's go ahead and um, get started. And um, what I want to do is um, just start off um, not with a, um, uh, and actually, um, let's see, I know there are lights on me, but um, those, um, we also have lights kind of on the screen. So um, if we can get um, those lights turned off and, um, and if the lights also turn off of me, that's probably okay as well. Um, but um, what I want to do is uh, just start off um, with um, a, a few light appetizers of, of, of stories. Um, I was, it turned out that um, the um, Space Telescope Institute had released um, a handful of um, new Hubble um, images of spiral galaxies. And so I thought um, we would um, start off by looking at some of those um, images. And um, first, um, the first one is of a spiral galaxy called NGC 7541. It's the one on the upper left. And uh, this is an image taken by a ground-based survey called the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. But um, the new Hubble image is um, uh, basically covers the entire galaxy. And then here is a zoom in to that. And so um, what's kind of nice about this is that you can see um, the spiral galaxy, spiral galaxies, um, or the type of galaxy that our own Milky Way is. And so um, spiral galaxies consist of a disk um, full of stars and gas and dust. And here you're seeing the disk somewhat inclined to, um, towards us. So we're not seeing it um, face on, but you can really make out um, those spiral arms. Um, the fact that um, you have these uh, nice big um, um, lanes of um, molecular gas that outline the arms, and you can even see a hint of that spiral pattern. Um, and then the other thing that you'll notice is that um, the, the central portion of the galaxy um, has more yellow stars. And so these tend to be older stars, less massive stars, um, whereas the disk um, looks bluer, and that's because uh, the disk contains younger stars and more massive stars. And it's in the disk, and, and actually within these um, molecular clouds, these dark regions where star formation takes place. And so once the stars spill out of the star forming regions, they orbit the galaxy in the disk, in the, um, and, and so they um, cause the disk to have that bluish glow. And then you even see these bright regions um, scattered throughout uh, the disk, and those are locations where you have um, young um, clusters uh, of, 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 of stars that have formed in, let's say, the last 10, 20 million years. And so um, these are stars that haven't gone um, supernova yet, and you can still see um, the bright members. So what's great about looking at um, a picture um, like this is that you, you can get an understanding of um, sort of the, the dynamic activity that is going on inside galaxies like our own. Here is another galaxy called NGC 5364, and the Hubble image um, is actually um, right towards the central core of this image. And uh, if we zoom in, um, again, you'll see um, the nice um, spiral arms, um, and they, they call this a, um, a grand design um, spiral um, just because of how um, nicely those spiral arms um, find, uh, find their way um, through the disk of the galaxy, and then they wind their way um, towards the center. And, uh, and again, um, we um, have lots of um, activity, um, these reddish um, spots, uh, throughout um, the, the image, again, you'll notice that they're located where there's molecular gas, and um, the, the red comes from the glow of hydrogen gas that's been excited by the ultraviolet light from the young stars. And so again, the, um, this red highlights the regions where lots of young stars are forming, and you can even see um, bright um, whitish um, spots um, that show you uh, the locations of the super bright uh, massive um, young stars. And, um, and so this is um, just a nice um, showcase of what um, a close-up of um, the spiral arms of a galaxy, um, of a spiral galaxy is like. And here, instead of being more edge-on, we're looking um, straight down into the, the disk of the plane of the galaxy. 
And then finally, the, the last one um, that the um, Hubble people released is a galaxy called NGC 4689. And this is the image, um, or the portion of the image that was um, imaged um, by the Hubble Space Telescope. And here we zoom into it. And in this case, this is um, actually a galaxy that has less star formation than normal. And, um, and so um, the, um, what's kind of interesting here is that um, these spiral arms are not as well-defined as the other two galaxies. And um, even though you do see, whoops, hold on. Um, you do see um, hints of um, bright stars. Um, there aren't as um, many regions of um, um, star formation.